Okay, so we're stood here um, four metres above the ground in the North Cloisters. We're taking on this ambitious project of replastering all 13 bays of the North Cloisters. Previously, we've done it at three bays at a time, but because we're trying to minimise visitor disruption, we decided to do the whole range in one go. But currently, six masons up here working on the replastering. They started at the end of July and they're scheduled to finish approximately mid-November in time for Advent. It's the largest cloisters in the country, but it's probably one of the largest replastering of any cloister ceiling ever undertaken, really. So what we're looking at here is one bay to the blind arcade of the North Cloisters. Um, and as you can see, this bay has been lime washed and there's quite a lot of medieval paint and it's put on to create joints to look like brickwork. All of the cloisters would have been decorated in this way, although this is a fine example of one bay. Some of the bays haven't fared as well, if you like, but this has got a lot of traces of medieval paint. As you're looking at this segment of the north cloister ceiling, as you can see, that's the original medieval stonework there. All of the plaster has been removed, and what Lee's doing now is putting a backing coat back on the stonework. So, th so this is the first coat really, filling in all the holes and we need to try and get it as near to the original as we possibly can. What Lee's putting on there is a mixture of sand and lime putty. This was replastered in the 1850s and obviously the plaster was in a bad state. It was slightly different in colour because they used different materials but it, it's pretty much the same really plaster we took off wasn't lime washed. So it's it kind of a, a light brown because it had a little bit more clay. Victorians used a bit more clay in their lime mortar. So what, what we're looking at here is the naked ceiling. This is the stonework underneath the plaster that's been removed. Once, once the plaster's been removed, if you pan up and you look at, this is the backing coat to the plaster. Basically what we're trying to do is fill in the holes and get the rough shape and form of the ceiling. Then it's then keyed up, ready for the middle coat of plaster, if you like. And around here, this here has had a middle coat of plaster. Okay, this has been keyed up as well. And this is ready for the final top coat of plaster. And once that's been put on, it will then be smoothed over ready for six coats of lime wash and then the process will be complete. Okay, so this segment here, this has had a backing coat, a middle coat and a top coat and it's been rubbed up to a finish, nice and smooth, ready for six coats of lime wash. And over on this segment, this segment here has obviously been rubbed up. It's had approximately three coats of lime wash. As you can see, there's still a few little patches, so we need to put another three, two to three coats on, and then that will complete this whole segment. There's four segments per bay, and there's 13 bays, so there's, there's an awful lot of segments to get done. Uh, and it's due for completion middle of November, ready for advent. 